Hey, wake up. There you are. Hi. No, no, it's okay, I swear. I'm not going to hurt you. Cross my heart. I know what you were likely told, but, well, there's not lots of time for explanations. But I'm not going to hurt you. Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? You fell while you were running. As soon as you hit the dirt, you were out. Hmm, a few hours, maybe? I thought I'd better try waking you up now. I didn't know if you maybe hit your head. I sort of remember you shouldn't let someone with a head injury sleep, so... Easy. Sit up slowly, okay? Tell me if you feel dizzy. Good? You're okay? Phew. You really scared me for a while. So, you were running from Electra, huh? No, I don't blame you. Most try to run, but not many actually get as far as you have. Um, was that, was that your magic that we all felt? Wow, it was really powerful. I bet Electra wasn't happy about it. Did she know you had magic when she summoned you? No? So, did you know you had magic when she summoned you? Wow. Well, even if you didn't, she clearly made a mistake in choosing you. You might actually stand a chance of getting away from her for good, and I want to help. No, really, I do. You need someone who knows this world, who doesn't have any ill wish towards you. I fit that bill perfectly. Nope. Sorry. You can't talk me out of it. Come on. Try standing up now. We should get moving further away from Electra's territory. As much as possible anyways. In case she comes looking soon. Okay, you're on your feet. How about walking? Good. You still feel okay? Not dizzy or anything? Hmm, just hungry and thirsty. We'll head for the village then. So... Did Electra tell you she'd send you back as soon as she finished the ritual? Yeah. She tells everyone that. Even me. No, I came from the same place as you. The mortal world. Electra said there was a prophecy. That I was the chosen one for her ritual. That so long as I helped her, she'd send me right back again. That helping her was for the good of her realm. I believed her. I wanted to help. And I wanted to go home again. She said all that to you too, huh? I'm not surprised. After the ritual? I asked her to send me back now that I'd helped her, like she said. She just laughed at me. She cursed me to become a cat. 
and ran me off into the woods. Luckily, I ran into a vampire. He helped stop the curse before it ran its full course. But I'll have paws and ears and some funny patches of fur forever now. Oh, the vampire? Electra mentioned him to you as a threat. He's not scary at all. Not like her. No one likes Electra. She's not a good person. Her ritual isn't for the good of the realm. It's actually to keep the power of it and the people in it down so she can reign. So long as she brings the dawn and some light to it every so often, everything and everyone else here is less powerful. Only she retains her full powers. I think because you'd only been here a short time, it didn't affect your magic. Or maybe because you're immortal, it will never change and it will make you less powerful. No, I know you didn't know you had magic, but you do. You know that now. A lot of magic and a lot of power. And if you keep it strong, maybe you can take on Electra. Oh, sorry. I am getting ahead of myself. And I know it must be annoying for someone else here to ask for your help. After what you just went through with the first person who claimed to need your help. Let's just leave that topic alone for now. We'll focus on getting you some food and water and maybe find a place to rest properly and safely. Don't worry, I have money. And I don't have much use for it normally. So I'm happy to spend it on things you might need. Oh. I actually don't know my name anymore. I've forgotten a lot of who I was. The vampire told me it was partly the curse Electra put on me. That it wasn't just my outside that was changing into a cat, but my inside too. But it's also being here. I've been here a really long time, I think. Well, most people just call me the cat. You can call me that. Could you? Tell me about the human world? Oh, I don't know. What are people wearing? Clothes? <laughs> oh, you're funny. Mm. Well, I suppose I'm glad that hasn't changed. No, I... I really don't remember what year it was when I was taken here. Nineteen... Nineteen... Eighty... Something. Maybe? I can't remember. What year is it now? Oh. It really has been a long time then, hasn't it? <sighs> no, it's okay. I mean, I knew that I had been here a long time. It's not really a surprise, just... Yeah. Hard to hear it in numbers, I guess. But I don't want you stuck here like me. We're gonna find a way to get you out. 
We'll do it, you'll see. You've only been here a few days. You'll be able to go home and back to your life, no problem. No, I... I can't go with you. Though you're really nice to say that. But this is my home now. I can't go back looking half cat. Can you imagine how people would react? And I've lived here in this world longer than I did in the human world anyways. I know things here. I know people here. And it isn't a bad place. Electra may have made it sound terrifying and dangerous, but honestly, you survived her. And she's the most dangerous part of it. I just stay away from her now. As much as I can. I was only closer to her territory right now because we all knew it was going to be time for her awful ritual soon. I try and get close every time she starts it in hopes of rescuing the human she brings through to complete it. No. You're the first one I've managed to talk to since I started trying. Generally, she... Well... Generally, they don't walk away. What she did to me was actually kind compared to some of the other things she's done. You, though, you got away unscathed. And I bet she's so mad right now and maybe even a little scared after the magic you showed her. Here we are. This is the village. Well, one of them. One of the bigger ones in this world. I've only seen a few, but I've heard other people say that this is one of the bigger ones. So we should be able to find food for you here. Maybe some different clothes? Oh no, they don't look bad. Only... They have a rip straight across your backside. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should have told you sooner, but I didn't want you to feel self-conscious for the whole walk here. It's not far to get new clothes. There's even a few people here that sell clothes from the human world, so you could probably get some the same. Okay, so we'll get you new clothes first. Then we'll get food, water. We'll find a place to get a hot meal and to rest and sleep. What then? I'm not sure exactly. I have a few ideas of where we might go, who we might talk to. It won't be easy, though. Getting to them while Electra is looking for you. She may not want to cross you directly again so soon, but she will more than likely be trying everything she can to make sure you can't do anything against her. We'll figure it out, though, okay? I promise we're going to get you back to your world, one way or another.